Welcome back to Phoenix Point. Um, based on some comments, I turned up the uh, input for my mic a little bit higher, so hopefully I come across a little more clear. Um, I have had issues with windows causing like static when I turn up the uh, output, but hopefully, I don't know, in my tests it seemed okay, so we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it stays that way. Um, but without further ado, let's do some more exploring here. All right, Twisted Sister has encountered a weather anomaly. Uh, on an otherwise clear day, a tornado that appears to consist of some kind of greenish gas is raging across the countryside. Such anomalous phenomena are the result of the planet's gradual change into an alien environment and would be worth studying, but there's a definite risk to our craft. Well, our craft is fine, so let's study it. 40 damage, that's fine. It's been a rough ride for our operatives, but the data they collected is invaluable. All right, beautiful. Yeah, that was hardly anything. No problems. So now I'm wondering if I should build a radar here, if for no other reason than to automatically detect stuff in the mist down here. I really do need to get another team going, but my materials are very, very low. Um, I'm slightly closer to 50% with Synedrian. But it doesn't look like I have a mission for them yet. Uh, yeah, they're still asking for sabotage. Or actually, I think I got above 50% with them. I have to forgive me, I, I record these in big batches, but um, it's been a couple days since I actually played. Research complete. Oh, that's right, I was working on New Jericho combat training. Okay, Fort Edison, Dr. Madhuri Nahar is preparing us to study the effects of an upcoming coronal mass ejection on the Pandorans. Unfortunately, Commander Ryan thinks her research is nonsense and is refusing to provide sufficient resources. We could help, but Commander Ryan seems like the kind of person who holds a grudge. Um, I think this haven was pretty far away, so whatever. Give us some, uh, oh, New Jericho liked it a little bit more. Give us some research. Fascinating, Dr. Nayar says, uh, as the data com comes in, there's a noticeable Disruption of the Pandora movement, Pandoran movement patterns. Even the mist seems to behave differently, but the eruption barely touched the earth. This was no Car Carrington event. I guess I'll need to keep studying these results. Oh yeah, I think that's this one here. Now only level one. Yeah, I have to actually secure this base, so can't do that with the Aurora. Ooh, I'm wondering if I should activate this one. It actually comes with a satellite uplink, although I'll have to repair it. Yeah, let's do it, because if I don't, it'll be infested. Although, naturally, I don't have enough or anything else. Alright, Commander Harris is willing to contribute substantially to our cause on the understanding that we help defend Fort Terminus whenever we can, in the hope that we will not make enemies of New Jericho. Okay. I mean, we can accept. Seems everyone here is quite confident that the Phoenix Project has a real chance of saving the Earth, Commander. Uh, Commander Harris uh, would like to be part of that, but she also has to be careful. Her ultimate loyalty is to most people of her haven. Alright, so New Jericho liked that a little bit. Um, hopefully they will actually... Oh, what did she commit? Was that food? Damn it, I don't need food. Need materials. Maybe Anu. What do you have? You have a decent amount. 
He won't take food for it though, he'll take tech. Sneedrin will take food over here. Okay, when the Aurora ar arrives at Mew... Yeah, I'm not even going to try. Um, our operatives encountered a crisis situation. An unknown fungus has been growing inside the Haven. Local scientists are extremely alarmed and everyone is doing their best to figure out how bad the situation is. Man, uh, tech, huh? I mean, tech is the only thing we're doing decent with. After a great deal of hard work, the growth is isolated and removed. It turns out to be a highly mutated strain of uh, Erymothecium. Oh yeah, okay. I'm not a scientist, can you tell? I'm a software engineer. <laughs> uh, which would have caused severe damage to the Haven's crops. How it infiltrated the Haven remains unknown, but the inhabitants are deeply thankful for our help. All right, so the Haven likes me a little bit more. Okay, yeah, so we were above 50% before. All right, Aurora. Okay, so this is revealed now, that's good. Trade, we mostly need materials. But we can afford tech. Uh, probably shouldn't do that many. We'll do half. We're earning food, but not that damn fast. All right, can we get repairs over here? Okay, we can't repair the storage. That's fine. Honestly, I don't think we need storage. Anti-demolish, there we go, 62. Yeah, that works. Uh, I can't build any defenses though. I do need to get another team. Uh, you guys have been telling me in the comments, I really do. I think I need to put aside resources for that. Oh they, oh, they won't let me trade. You bastards. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is head up to Phoenix Point for repairs. And then when I come back, I'll hit up some of these scavenging sites. Where is the other one? There it is. Oh yeah, and I got this base. I got a couple soldiers there, so I don't want to forget about them. Um, I have them sitting here because I kind of want them to level up a bit. They seem to be doing okay so far. The game, die hard. Hold off on that. Chloe, I already leveled you up. Um, how are you guys doing? So you're actually not bad. Oh, I thought I saw an exploration site that I didn't get. Yeah, but all my question marks are like over here. Uh, who do I have at Phoenix Point? Oh, my Scarab. I need to transfer you. You know, after I hit up this question mark, um, maybe I'll bring the Aurora back here and start moving stuff. Because uh, I have all my food production here, I don't want to sell it all before I get my money's worth out of them. 
And this is where I'm keeping my containment. Uh, yeah, I don't have food harvesting tech yet, unfortunately. All right, let's stick with the plan. We'll go uh, get our repairs. Okay, the behemoth emerged. All right, Aurora. Actually, honestly, let's bring you back, unequip you, because we might have to defend ourselves with this team until the Aurora can get back here. Alright, uh, Air Force, Aurora, disarm you. Research complete. Okay, got technicians. Uh, did they launch something? I didn't see the, uh, the alert. I guess it doesn't matter until we get to Phoenix Point. Hey, atmospheric analysis improvements have revealed overgrown sites which may be more rewarding than anything we've encountered so far. Good. This mutog research the disciples are engaging in is deeply troubling. Fooling around with mutation is dangerous enough to begin with, but to not even have a proper way of controlling the creature you've created. How long before one of these creatures goes berserk? How long before there are unexpected consequences to their genetic composition? How long before a few of them get free and start breeding? Is the Exalted trying to fight the Pandorans or strengthen them? Oh, there's two flyers. Holy shit. Alright. Um... Yeah, we can't afford any new weapons anyway. Oh, that's right. I forgot about this. I have to scan for them. Yikes! Alright, Air Force. Alright, so let's take the armadillo out. We don't need like 80 snipers. Okay, so the Manticore 2. Oh, and it's not. It's not repaired. So maybe I need to switch them around. Okay, one moment while I juggle these guys and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So the Manticore 1 is outfit. Um, let's see if we can make it down here. And then... You guys, I want to heal up. Got another SOS. Oh, that must be the people that are being attacked. I thought it was a ground attack. Alright, you all. Need to retrieve blueprints, but I don't know. But it's smart to attack them with only six guys, so we'll start doing exploration right now. Armor piercing tech. Yeah, Sinedrian broadcasting an SOS. Alright, Phoenix Point is all fixed up. So now we just need the Aurora to get there. Oh, the Helios got it. 
research complete. Here we go. Food harvesting tech. Are you aware of the legend of Fort Bacon? It's a tall tale, a myth of the post-apocalypse that circulates among our soldiers. It tells of a haven where people have found a way to safely eat the Pandorans, which, if reports are to be believed, actually taste of bacon. It's a very human response, I suppose, not unlike the utopias dreamed up by medieval peasants. But despite what Sinedrian may tell us, there is no land of plenty, no secret haven ruled by Prester John. The reality of this world is constant struggle against infection. And I wonder, has the Phoenix Project forgotten that? Have you decided to set up your own little cocaine, where the corpses of our enemies are a source of health and happiness? Process is safe. To recognize the nature of the war we are fighting is not a type of phobia. I do not ascribe quasi-magical abilities to the Pandorans. I merely understand that reasonable precautions are essential. How many innocents died in shelters that were supposed to be safe? How many armies were wiped out by nothing more than clouds of mist? We should never underestimate the Pandora virus. Fair enough, but whatever. Um, let's look at containment so we don't need all these Arthrans anymore. And then research. Did we already finish? Uh, Arthur and Vivis section, okay. So that means... Containment, harvest you. Joke's on him, I'm not even gonna eat the food. We are gonna sell it. For resources. Uh, what about Tritons? Uh, Triton Autopsy, I don't see... Oh, Triton Vivisection, okay, we did that as well. And then the Mindfragger... Uh, Mindfragger Egg... Mindfragger vivisection, wonderful. Only got 13 for that, but whatever. Shit. Well, he finished his little attack. Okay, operatives have set down in a small town. It's an automotive museum. Tech and materials. I will take it. Construction complete. Okay, we got more flights. Okay, according to a rumor, a man in Sinedrian uh, Haven killed several people while hallucinating that he was being pulled into a tomb by the ghoulish creatures that had been haunting his dreams for several weeks. There's a similar rumor about a woman in a New Jericho Haven killing her family. It's not clear whether these are two similar incidents or whether both rumors are based on the same event, but certain is that the reports in visual and auditory hallucinations are increasing. Havens in the mist can be infested instead of destroyed when attacked by Pandorans. Infested havens accelerate Pandoran evolution. Okay, max operatives that can be deployed reduced by two. Alright, but 100% experience. Removed ambushes are more dangerous and more likely. Damn, I was uh, kind of banking on that. I really only got ambushed once. Our analysis of the latest mission reports and debri debriefing shows a worrisome trend. Our operatives are increasingly irritable and distrustful of each other, often choosing to perform tasks themselves rather than relying on their teammates. Have you seen the latest psyche valves? Trust issues is putting it mildly. They could start shooting each other at any minute. If you want my advice, keep the combat units small, at least for a while. In the aftermath, heightened hostilities uh, and intensified resource acquisition 
the operational landscape gradually reverts to established parameters, the apparent frequency of ambushes diminishes, returning to standard levels. Alright, fair enough. Um, so I guess we can only have six people total now. So I guess the Aurora, I mean we could get a second team going like that and then they could pick up other people down here. I think I would need one more, but I might be able to afford one with some trading and stuff. Or at least after some more exploration and shit. Alright, what do we got? Uh, this is fireworms. What's your armor like? It's still not too bad. You are more heavily armored. And there's a citadel somewhere. All right, Pandoran uh, Acheron Prime. Species classification AC2. Mutation of the Acheron that spreads a third Miss Pandora virus strain more effectively, releasing the infectious compound in cloud form and somehow allowing other Pandorans to spread it too through their attacks. Also has a more dangerous long-range acid and mist attack. As with the previous vari variation, wherever this creature appears, umbra sightings and reports of other unexplainable phenomena significantly increase. Okay, so it adds a delirium. It's 20 acid now. Effective range of 30. Received in addition to standard. Alright. Oh, delirium. All Pandorans deal delirium damage when attacking with a melee weapon. God damn. Delirium spray. Leap. Contact. Dynamic resistance. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Range 1400, accuracy 65, range 1700, accuracy 15. This is radar and psychic, so we can't, uh, we can't dodge it with the afterburner. Bummer! taking out another one of them although maybe they can take care of it I ah, wish I thought to stop here yeah they must have got it yeah it looks like they got it You won't let me trade. All right. Honestly, without speed, I don't suspect you're going to get many kills, so... 
You leveled up to... Uh, you probably just need a med kit. You know, we're probably going to need more repeller modules now that the mist is going to be spread by those things so much. Honestly, I can sit them there, let them train a little bit, because the Aurora... I would probably rather it come over here to this thing. And then you two can help them out. Oh, we can only have six anyway. That's right. Alright, well, never mind. Let's come down here then. Not much we're going to be able to do here. And then Air Force. I mean, there's no point in arming you until you're healed. Research complete. Uh, we need the materials more than we need... Well, although this thing might give us a way to get rid of the, uh... Um... The, uh, delirium. How long do you take to repair? That's what I want to know. Hey! Anyone? This is Station Sigma 7 1. We need immediate evacuation. I repeat, we need immediate evacuation. The facility has been compromised. Specimen 2 escaped the containment chamber and is roaming throughout the lab. You need to get us out of here and purge the entire facility. The specimen mustn't be allowed to escape into the open. If it does, it's released the strain variant. I'm initiating the self-destruct procedure. The strain must... Research complete. Man, I forgot that there was a mission for this. We've been fighting these guys for so long. Um, alright. Okay, well, apparently the Manticore 1 is repaired. Go with those, they have better accuracy. Okay, um... Gonna have to drop their loads a little bit, but I'll figure that out off camera and then I'll be right back. Alright, got everyone set up. Let's get going, see what we're up against here. The Shredded Rascals. The leader is Lorax. 
Uh, okay, so they gain regeneration. Already there. Yes. Ready. Shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. And not much out here yet. Guys with the jump jets always start heading over. Oh, he's my he's the only guy with a jump jet. Never mind then. Let's do this. Watch out, I'm moving in. Ugh. We'll grab one of those, I guess. Two of the little bastards, huh? <laughs> Let's see now. Legs you got, shadow legs. Okay, so I don't think he can jump up. Right there. I kind of wish he was a berserker. Lame. Oh. Priest back there. Moving in quick. Where'd you 
come. Ah. Receiving loud and clear. I just take out his gun. Well, didn't happen anyway. I got this covered. Here comes the phoenix. Okay, so you're gonna die. Ah, felt to connect there. Nice shot, idiot. Oh, that's right. This is good range on this. Gotta take out his head. Oh wait, you got virus, so you'll pay. Engaging. Okay. Moving. Took care of his head. know if he's gonna run at me. talking.
Okay, so it's just that one, I guess. I'm ready. Well, these missiles are expensive. I think this stuff's expensive too. Alright guys, let's GTFO. Yes, on my way. Uh, are you gonna panic? No. I'm on Overwatch. Let's all move. Aiming. Uh, this does 10 piercing and 20 damage, so not enough. Unless we blast him a little bit. Wait till he gets close. Like that. Taking point. Moving out. I'm assuming he's going to try and melee me. I expected you to get some overwatch. Sophia's full. Let's move you up. Uh, you got some space. And I could maybe try uh, and grab sure that other med kit on my way back. Gun. At least I thought he did. Oh no, that's his leg. <sighs> thought it was a shotgun. Um, this stuff is expensive though. There. 
acquiring target. Gotcha. Uh, he's still three ammo left. I'm on Overwatch. Send you Moving up to out. get the med kit. Grab that too. And then Moving. get out of the way. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot else that's worth grabbing. Gotcha covered. I mean, Sophia had... Uh, she wants to grenade, but she has a lot of movement. Eric, you got a lot of space. I mean, we're going to be using ammo the longer we're here, though. What did you drop? Anything? Med pack. That kind of stuff might be worth picking up. I'll try up. and get there. I mean, because this is like 15 uh, tech. That's worth it. Sophia, you just give him back Moving up. In quick. Actually, we could have used her to drop stuff off with the uh, um, snipers. Alright. Yeah, so much for that med kit. <laughs> Receiving. Running. Channel open. Yeah, you need the need med kit. It. It's different in the field. Yeah, these are probably worth some tech. I'm All right, prepared. no need to push our luck. Let's uh, kill this guy. I'm on the move. Target located. Oh shit! Where? Hmm. It looks like a pretty good shot. <laughs> Still not enough to kill him. That med pack. Ready to engage. Okay, I think we should bleed out now. Yeah. All right, now we're just gonna grab everything we can.
Ah, oh, shit, those guys with their poison. This is going to cost money, but this guy could possibly kill somebody. Oh, damn, look at all this shit they dropped. Okay, that was worth the trip. Doing it. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Um, yeah, let's just evac you. Let's do this. Taking point. No ambush, please. Moving out. Excellent mission. Would have been better if I could have brought eight people, but nah. <laughs> the delirium didn't allow it. A lot of injuries though, so everyone's going to be out of stamina. Okay, decent amount of resources and tech. Um, and then a bunch of stuff that I can trade and or use. Beautiful. Sure, why not? We can afford it. Oh man, that haven's gonna get destroyed. Alright, but I'm gonna end this here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.